Hello, my name is Aubrey Erian, and today I want to show you my twin charged mid engine Cummins diesel powered Ultra 4 race car. ask why would you build a race car with a diesel engine in it uh, it's a fair question everybody wants an LS in their race car because they're light powerful you got quick throttle response diesels aren't known for any of those things except power they're slow to respond and heavy uh, if you're racing in the woods you're on off the throttle constantly and diesel never has time to get spooled and produce power um, before you're off the throttle again uh, this is a little bit different breed of diesel and I managed to get the weight distributed pretty well um, up front so that you know it's it's fairly well balanced out so I'll walk you through it and uh, time will tell whether I'm crazy or it works so um, I break it down into three categories uh, cost for power output durability and flammability so on the cost for power output you know with a supercharger a couple grand improvements uh, cam an intake which I built myself uh, so that didn't cost me really anything. Ported head, larger injectors, valve springs, a governor spring kit. Um, it's putting out just so much power um, and like instant power. So it's not a ton of improvements for a race engine. I haven't done that much. I haven't done any lower end work, uh, no injection pump work. Um, and I'm not pushing this engine anywhere near what it's capable of. I want it to last. Uh, but it's still probably in the six to 700 horsepower range and maybe 12 to 1400 foot pounds of torque. Uh, that's just an estimate. I don't, I don't have a dyno. It's never been on a dyno. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know. Uh, but then on durability, you know, this is one of the toughest engines out there. You feel free to disagree, but I've um, modified these engines a lot um, and towed tons of heavy weight with them. Uh, pushing them well past what they were made to do and they're they're incredible. They just last forever with very little maintenance um, I've been around off-road racing just enough to know that uh, There's a ton of issues around tuning and uh, electrical issues with these gassers and this is bulletproof mechanical and simple um, Flammability, you know, we've all seen these race cars go up in flames uh, I don't want that to be me that is just uh, it the race fuel is, is just insanely flammable and, and um, you know, it's a perk that this just runs number two diesel. Um, there's no uh, getting the octane wrong and screwing up the tune. Uh, it's just, just off-road diesel, nice and simple. So this engine is a twin charged engine, which means it's supercharged and turbocharged. So um, the supercharger boosts about eight PSI at idle um, and it blows into the turbocharger and then it goes through the turbocharger, through the intercooler, into the engine. So as you start to um, give it some fuel, the turbocharger kicks in and it overtakes the supercharger to where it's sucking up most of the air um, that the that the supercharger is putting out. So the supercharger is not working hard in the higher RPM. Um, at uh, at high RPM, the the turbo is doing all the work, and the supercharger ideally is putting out about one psi, which means that it's not creating parasitic draw by compressing air um, that it doesn't need to because the turbo can do the work. Um, while having less parasitic draw on the engine. And it's also not restricting the flow of air to the turbocharger. Um, it's an excellent system. It, 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 it works uh, better than I could have hoped. It, there is no lag at all, just instant power. So um, I'll show you a couple videos and uh, I'll um, walk you around the car and uh, show you some of the parts. All right, 
so here's the race car. Um, doing some work on it right now. So I've got the skins off of uh, this side. Uh, shout out to my sponsors. That's Raceline Wheels, Griffin Radiator. Uh, I got the Drew Griffin Transmission Cooler up front and Whipple Supercharger. So that is the supercharger right there. You can see it's a bit dirty because I've been out testing it. The uh, supercharger blows right into the turbo back in there, comes out of the turbo, goes through my intercooler, which comes over and into my custom intake right there. So that's the, uh, that's the engine right there. It's super easy to work on. Everything's really easily accessible. Um, running dual rate coilovers on this. I'd like to put bypass shocks on it someday um, when I have some more money. Um, but, uh, in the meantime, these are working great. I got to do a little bit of shock tuning on them. Um, but I left provisions in there for the, um, coilovers when I, uh, or for the, for the bypass shocks when I get around to it. So here's the interior. Um, got Lorance GPS units in there. One for the driver, one for the co-driver. I'm going to take those out. I'm super unimpressed with those. Um, Lawrence makes some great stuff for fishing and boats. Uh, I am not impressed with how it works for off-road um, applications. So um, gonna tear those out, try lead nav out with a couple of iPads. Uh, I think uh, it has a ton more functionality and satellite map imagery and overlays, which are really nice. So uh, there's my shifter, transfer case shifter, radio dashboard and backup cam um here's my wiring it's a little bit of a mess right now but uh i've got to clean it up some but i've got to tear a bunch of stuff out and redo some stuff so right now everything's just a little bit of a mess i'm going to try and mount this jack up here somewhere and these pelican cases so i gotta play around with that <clears throat> There's fuel tank and the uh, marine grade fuel filter right there, water separator. And there's my transmission cooler, um, lights, winch, and my batteries right there, which will be um, AGM Optimus at some point. Right now I just have these in here for testing. Um, but obviously not exactly a good idea to use um, lead acid batteries for racing applications. And there's the car. So I'll show you a couple videos and, and that's, uh, that's more or less it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>